Hi guys, welcome to Birds and Bees and to the lesson number one. So what I have here is an 11 by 14 um, primed wood panel. It's actually not wood, it's like an MDF panel. They do have birch panels, which I like better, but this is um, less expensive, ready to go. Buy it at Hobby Lobby at 40% off and you're good to go. And the expense is very limited. So this is what I'm working on. Not sure if you can see it well. This is a smaller version. This is an 8x8 and we'll work on that in, in some of the later videos. It has a little bit of tooth and you probably can't see that. We talked about it in um, the introduction. So I went over it with a, a sandpaper just to get rid of all that um, bumpy texture to it. So it's pretty smooth now at this point. Um, boy, my video camera just wants to keep. Okay, so this is this uh, black craft paint that we talked about before. And I'm just going to squirt it right on there. Maybe I have to open it first. So I'm lazy, so I just dump it on there. That was a lot. And I just get my big, really big um, flat brush. This is a number two in Zen. I love the Zen paint brushes. They're my favorite. They're inexpensive. They're well made and they don't lose their hairs during the process. They're perfect for what you're doing. And because they're inexpensive, I can leave mine in the water and not feel guilty about it. Okay, so I'm just going over the entire canvas here with this black craft paint. Um, if you need to do two coats, fine. On this one, you're definitely gonna have a black background in parts of it at least, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you get all the little white spots. I like to go, um, you know, in a few different directions at first just to spread the paint, but at the end I kind of do go in one general direction just um, to kind of make it smooth. So you don't want a lot of ridges there. Um, if you really want to make sure that you don't get a lot of ridges, be more mature than I was and don't just dump it on there because if you get too much then you're going to have thicker paint in certain sections. Also with these paint brushes, they're not like the oil paint brushes. So they don't they're not like a bore brush. They are an acrylic brush and they have soft bristles, so they're not going to give you as much of a texture to them than the than the oil paint brushes. So I'm just going to keep going along. Um, I'm going to try to get rid of my, you know, you're not going to get rid of all of your brush strokes, but you don't want super thick paint because any texture on this, the paint, the, um, the uh, colored pencils is just going to kind of bounce on. It's not going to be as smooth. So you could even give this a light sand after you're done with it just to um, get rid of the ridges and and that kind of thing. So I'm just kind of going, you know, in vertical and horizontal lines. Um, one more time across like this. I know this seems really basic, but um, there's a lot of people with us that haven't really even painted before. So you're going to paint the edges black probably unless you want to do a different color. And so don't worry about getting a little bit of black on the sides. If it drips, then you want to clean that up because if you have big drips, you won't be as happy with, with um, how it turns out. So I'm just going to do one more uh, brush through to kind of smooth that out. All right, there we go. And that's your first step. So um, this is going to dry very matte. That's why we use the craft paint. 
and it's going to give you a texture kind of like chalkboard. So that's the texture that you're going to want with the colored pencils is that chalkboard texture. So make sure you use a uh, craft paint. So let me show you my box of goods here. This is my cigar box. And let's see. I'm scratching my, my blackness up. That's not good. Okay, I don't recommend doing that. So in my box of tricks, I have some Posca pins. I told you about these in the earlier video, but I'm just reminding you that you can buy them at jetpins.com. Um, I also have a thicker version, but I like the extra fine. Um, so anyway, so that's what I'm going to use right now. You can get different ones. Um, this is the Molotow. Um, you can get Montana. You can get all different white pens. I have a preference to the Posca pens because they don't dry out on me as much. Um, that being said, you may prefer something else and that's okay too. Or you could use white paint if you want to. It's just not as easy. So I did mess up my thing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to get moving. So usually you shake these up and then you need to prime them. I think this is probably already primed. Let's see. Well, we're just going to pretend like it is. And if it isn't, then we'll... So one of the things that I always consider in a painting is composition. So you have to think about, you're going to put birds, you're going to put flowers, which by the way, um, I am going to do a uh, extra video, a bonus video for those of you who don't want to draw this on by yourself. Um, another thing you could do is you could take a regular pencil and draw on the black and you'll still be able to see it, then go over it with the white if you're a little nervous about going straight on there with white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. I really like to make flowers go off the page like you don't know where they are there or they're above where you're at, you know. So the head's going to be here. I'm just making a straight line. Um, I'm going to stop every once in a while and leave a space there for a leaf. So, I mean, really, it's just like if you were to draw a straw. I mean, it's just super simple, but I will, um, I will print this for you and put it in a PDF so that you can trace it on if you want to. But this is just two lines, um, and then I'm going to draw some circles. Now, bear in mind that your flower is going to come out to here, so you're not going to want to put your bird right here because then you're not going to have placement for your petals. So I'm going to probably do a bird right here. And a bird is like a U shape. And then um, you're going to go around and it's almost like a strange looking eye shape or like a, like a glass, maybe a wine glass, except for with a rounded section up here. And then in this part, so I'm going to put my little beak here. And that for just a triangle, I'm going to put another triangle going in here. And I'm not going to worry about that line right there because I'm going to color that in black. Um, and then the eyeball is going to go right in front of that. So whether it's just a little bit lower or right directly in front of that um, point right there. And then a little U shape right here. And that's really simple. I mean, that's that's about as simple as you can get. So you don't want to make all your flowers in the same line here. You want to make some small ones. Um, and I'm going to do some lines coming down from them, just like I did my first line, leaving some spaces for my leaves. And you might want to do leaves on both sides. It's up to you. Don't worry about it being perfect. This is whimsical. This isn't realism. So you might even want to do a great big flower. And like I said, bear in mind, you're going to have the leaves there. So um, on, on the flower. So you're 
And then you don't want your leaf spaces to be right. Like you wouldn't want a leaf here and a leaf here. You want to go down a little bit and put a leaf farther down. And then, you know, maybe a flower way up here and the petals might go off of the page. Don't worry about that. That's, I like that. I like it when the flowers kind of go off of the page. Okay, so now we have a lot that are kind of going straight. I like to have some that are at an angle as well. So I'm just gonna add this little arched flower. And you wanna just think about composition. So what, it, I mean, you really wanna feel, you know, um, what you think is looking good. So you don't wanna have to do it just exactly like mine. You may feel like, you know, this space right here is really needing something. But the biggest thing is, is that you want, you want a lot of variances and shapes and sizes. You don't want it all to be exactly the same. And then also bear in mind, you know, you're going to have petals from this and you're going to have petals from this. So you're going to, some of these are going to have to be behind some of them. You know, you just have to think about those things. And then because I have one leaning that way, I'm going to want one leaning this way. And then I'm probably going to have one that's going to come off the page here. So if you can see, this is almost like, um, like you're making your own coloring book, only black is the background instead of white. 